camps and summertime go hand in hand. <laughs> Whether it's sleepaway camp or day camp, but this year offers a much different picture. The ongoing battle of COVID-19 has some camps able to adjust their program to fit the new landscape. Let's face it playing in the playground, they can meet up with someone. And those are environments that are not, are not as sanitized as our camps are. Others wonder if they'll have enough backing to keep the doors open for the summer. We've been confronted with uh, a, a devastating budget cut due to the COVID um, um, impact on the city financially. Desmond Rosa is a director at the Grand Wyndham Hunts Point Beacon. Their summer program serves underprivileged Hunts Point and Longwood communities. The program based at the Bronx Academy for Multimedia may now be displaced due to lack of funding. The majority of the families in this community um, live either at or well below the poverty line. Uh, we live in a, uh, a what we would most people would consider a food desert. Both Rosa and Grand Wyndham CEO Jess Danhauser are calling on the mayor to lift the restrictions to all Department of Youth and Community Development funded summer camps in the city by allowing kids a safe place to go this summer. But if that doesn't happen, they're willing to foot the bill. We don't have the time to take a break when our young people are already coming behind in the uh, achievement world. So um, we're, we're planning on moving forward. Once the health department gives them the go ahead, they plan to follow the social distancing guidelines and testing measures. That's something Jay Jacobs of Timberlake also plans to follow to a T. He operates sleepaway and day camps in upstate New York, Long Island and Pennsylvania. How do you plan on having a camp that's up and running, still staying with those safety guidelines? We're all looking toward creating protected environments in our own camps. That means that every child that comes in is pre-tested, making sure that uh, our medical staff, which we have in every single camp, is up to speed on looking for symptoms and being careful. Taking the right precaution and maintaining a controlled environment will not only reduce the spread, it'll also ensure a safe haven for campers and staff that'll make getting through the summer of COVID-19 a bit more enjoyable. For Pix11 News, I'm Stacey N. Gooden.